So you're thinking of living in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and you're looking for someone to let you know what is really late? Then this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Joe McIntosh, and welcome to another episode of Carolina Salute, where we talk about everything Charlotte, both north and south of the border. On this video, I'm gonna give you some of the pros and cons of living in Rock Hill, South Carolina. The very first and most popular reason that people love living here in Rock Hill, South Carolina is you're gonna get big city amenities with some small town charm. Rock Hill is more than just a bedroom community of Charlotte. It's a city of its own. It has a population hovering around 76,000 people and it's the largest city in York County. One of the cool things about Rock Hill is you're gonna get some variety. A lot of times with suburban living, you know, you're gonna give up shopping. You're gonna give up quick access to the things you like every day when you live within the city. We've got the Starbucks and your Outback Steakhouses and your bigger chains, but guess what? We've also got tons of mom and pop places and local spots that are incredibly delicious. So where you're gonna get the best feel of a smaller town living is gonna be the revitalized downtown area. They've pumped in a ton of money and a ton of businesses are here to serve you. Whether it's coffee, lunch, dinner, or hey, when the sun goes down, you wanna grab a beer also, guess what? You don't have to travel all the way into Charlotte. You can stay right here and have a good time. The second reason people love living here is gonna be because there's always something to do, whether it's all of the outdoor activities or the wonderful seasonal festivals. There are 33 parks in Rock Hill. Two of my favorite are Riverfront Park and Ebenezer. Riverfront Park consists of 70 acres along the Catawba River with a little over three miles of trails, one trail hugging the river. Ebenezer sits on the India Hook part of Rock Hill and sits right on Lake Wiley. This is also my daughter's favorite park. But beyond all the outdoor activities that this place has to offer, there's also a ton of seasonal festivals that are really awesome. And here are some of the most popular ones you're gonna wanna catch. It's gonna be the Imagine Steam Festival and St. Paddy's Day on Main. Everybody loves a green beer. Another festival you're gonna wanna check out is called the Come See Me Festival, which is great for blues and jazz. For Halloween, we're gonna have the Booha Festival, which is a really good time. And then the granddaddy of them all, of course, you might know what it is, is gonna be Christmasville. The events like this are what really help build the sense of community here in Rock Hill. A lot of times you won't get that in the bigger cities. You might get it by a neighborhood, but you really won't see a neighborhood come together and really enjoy their time together with your fellow neighbors. Now, the third reason that people love living here is because of the diversity of housing options, the location, and the difference in affordability depending on where you want to live. As a matter of fact, in 2018, it was named one of the 50 best places to live because of this. The median home price here is roughly $278,000 and it's only about 23 minutes to Charlotte. So those are some of the pros, but nowhere's perfect, right? So now we're going to get into some of the cons. One of the things that comes to mind when you think of big cities, and we're no different, is Rock Hill's going to have a little bit of a crime problem. Crime here is higher than the national average, but what I suggest you do, Google's great, do a quick online search and see, hey, as if localized are the areas that I can find to live and still feel safe. I believe you'll find those places are here. The second con that residents say could be better is gonna be the school ratings. So as we say, the schools here aren't rated quite as highly as neighboring Fort Mill or Lake Wiley cost of living here is also less. So you're gonna get more bang for your buck when it comes to your home. A great resource that I like to use for schools, again, is greatschools.org. It'll tell you exactly why the schools were ranked and what the big takeaways from the schools were that caused them to have the score that they do. The third con you may hear about is that some of the outer areas, your unincorporated parts of the city, you may not have your city services. So you probably won't have city sewer, may or may not have uh, city water. So you very well could be on well and septic. One of the other things in the areas when you get outside the city limits is you're most likely gonna have to take your own trash and recycling to one of the local trash and recycle spots. 
Now, if these are things that you're gonna find annoying and you really don't wanna deal with, well then, hey, guess what? Make sure you're within an area that does have all the city services. Everybody wants their little five acres and their slice of heaven, but that five acres and slice of heaven usually won't come with city service. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight into the pros and cons of what it's like to live here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. We help people move around Charlotte in the area every day, and I'd love to help you too. If you should have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. But one thing I do want to note, please reach out sooner rather than later in your home search process. It makes things easier on both of us. Again, thanks for watching another episode of Carolina Salute. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button.